up from the surface back home for some time to come. We leave as we came, and God willing, as we shall return. With peace and in hope for all mankind. You are looking at the world's most powerful rocket, NASA's brand new space launch system, and Orion spacecraft on launch pad 39B. Artemis 1 will send an uncrewed Orion spacecraft farther around the moon than any of the Apollo missions before it. On behalf of all the men and women across our great nation who have worked to bring this hardware together to make this day possible, and for the Artemis generation, this is for you. At this time, I give you a go to resume count and launch Artemis 1. Sound suppressor water now flowing 15. under the ML. And here we go. Okay. Hydrogen burn-off igniters initiate. Seven, six, five, four-stage engine start. Three, two, one. And liftoff of Artemis 1. We rise together, back to the moon and beyond. Top four RS-25 engines on the core stage, two solid rocket boosters now controlling the vehicle. stage of the space launch system. We are all part of something incredibly special, the first launch of Artemis. The first step in returning our country to the moon and on to Mars. during the final Apollo mission some 50 years ago. The views of our blue marble in the blackness of space now capturing the imagination of a new generation, the Artemis generation. This view of our home planet taken from 229,000 miles away from the Orion spacecraft following outbound power to fly by burn behind the moon. glimpse of an earth rise coming into frame. The next time we see such a view, we will be hearing about it from a cruise perspective during Artemis 2. In this view, we see 8 billion human lives all existing upon our pale blue dot, our blue marble, our very own spaceship Earth. After a long journey, Orion is now coming home. Ryan. 
Earth spacecraft is barreling its way back home after circumnavigating the moon and beyond in an elliptical distant retrograde orbit, now less than two hours away from splashing down in the Pacific Ocean west of Baja, California, to complete its shakedown mission that has opened a new era of deep space exploration. Splashdown. From Tranquility Base to Taurus Littrow to the tranquil waters of the Pacific, the latest chapter of NASA's journey to the moon comes to a close. Orion, back on Earth. This is what mission success looks like, folks. This was a challenging mission. We now have a foundational deep space transportation system. What is the significance of this after a half century that we were last on the moon? There we did the impossible, making it possible. Now we are doing that again, but for a different purpose. Because this time we go back to the moon to learn to live, to work, to invent, to create. It is the beginning of the new beginning to explore the heavens.